Have you ever wondered how your muddy soccer jersey or your ice cream stained t-shirt gets sparkling clean? Well, it's not magic, it's science. And it all happens inside a fantastic machine called a washing machine. This machine is like a personal laundry helper that lives in your house. Its main job is to take all your dirty, smelly clothes and with the help of water and soap, make them fresh and clean again. It's a big metal or plastic box with a round door and inside, there's a special spinning drum. This drum is where all the action takes place. It's designed to be tough on dirt, but gentle on your favorite clothes, making laundry day so much easier for everyone. Before the science can start, you have a very important job to do. First, you gather all your dirty clothes. Maybe it's the shirt you wore while painting a picture or the pants you wore playing in the park. You open the door of the washing machine and put the clothes inside. It's like you're packing a suitcase for a cleaning vacation. But be careful not to put too many clothes in at once. The clothes need room to move around and get properly washed. Overstuffing the machine is like trying to dance in a crowded elevator. There's just no space to bust a move and your clothes won't get as clean as they could be. Next up is a very important ingredient, the detergent. Detergent is a special kind of soap made just for washing machines. It comes in different forms, like a liquid you can pour or a powder you can scoop. You add the detergent into a special little drawer or compartment on the machine. Think of it like adding the secret sauce to a recipe. This detergent has amazing cleaning powers that will attack the dirt and grime on your clothes. Without it, the water would just get your clothes wet, but it wouldn't be able to lift away all those stubborn stains and yucky smells that have attached themselves to the fabric. The final step before the show begins is choosing the right settings. On the front of the washing machine, you'll see lots of buttons and a dial. These controls let you tell the machine exactly how you want it to wash your clothes. You can choose the temperature of the water, hot for very dirty things like towels, and cold for delicate clothes that might shrink. You can also choose the type of wash cycle. Is it a normal load, a heavy duty load for super dirty jeans, or a gentle cycle for a special sweater? It's like being the director of a movie and you're giving the washing machine its instructions for the big performance. Once you've pushed the start button, the washing machine comes to life. The first thing that happens is that water starts to fill the drum. You can hear it swooshing in. The machine carefully measures just the right amount of water based on the setting you chose. As the water fills up, it mixes with the detergent you added earlier. This creates a powerful, bubbly, soapy water solution. This isn't just plain water anymore. It's a super cleaning mixture, ready to go to work. The water and soap are the dynamic duo of clean, preparing to team up and fight against all the dirt hiding in the fibers of your clothes. Now for the really fun part. The drum inside the machine starts to turn. It tumbles your clothes around, lifting them up and then dropping them back down into the soapy water. This is called agitation. Imagine you have a jar with muddy water. If you just let it sit, the mud stays at the bottom. But if you shake the jar, the mud gets mixed all around. The washing machine is doing the same thing with your clothes. This constant motion helps the soapy water reach every single part of every piece of clothing, from the collar of your shirt to the cuff of your pants. No sneaky piece of dirt can hide from this tumbling action. So, how does the soap actually clean? Detergent molecules are very special. One end of the molecule loves water, we call this hydrophilic, and the other end hates water but loves oil and grease, we call this hydrophobic. When the clothes are tumbling in the soapy water, the oil-loving ends of the detergent molecules grab onto the dirt and stains on your clothes. It's like millions of tiny hands reaching out and pulling the grime right off the fabric. Once the dirt is captured, the water-loving ends of the molecules hold it suspended in the water, so it can't jump back onto your clothes. This whole process of tumbling and scrubbing continues for a while, usually about 20 to 30 minutes, depending on the cycle you selected. The machine is patiently and persistently working, ensuring that the detergent has enough time to find and capture all the dirt. The combination of the physical movement from the spinning drum and the chemical action from the detergent is what makes the magic happen. It's a tag team effort. The tumbling knocks the dirt loose and the detergent grabs it and holds on tight, making sure it can be washed away for good, leaving your clothes much, much cleaner than they were before. After the main wash cycle is complete, the machine has a new problem to solve. 
The drum is now filled with clothes and very dirty, soapy water. All that dirt and grime that the detergent pulled off your clothes is now floating around. We need to get rid of it. So, the machine starts a draining process. A pump inside the machine turns on and starts sucking all that dirty water out through a hose at the back. You can often hear the sound of the water being pumped away. It's like pulling the plug in a bathtub after a bath. All the dirty water goes down the drain, taking the captured dirt with it. Now the clothes are clean, but they are still covered in a little bit of leftover soap. We need to rinse them. So, the machine fills up with clean water one more time. This is the rinse cycle. The drum starts to tumble the clothes again, but this time it's in fresh, clean water without any soap. This rinsing action is super important because it washes away any remaining detergent and any last bits of trapped dirt. Think of it like washing your hands. After you scrub with soap, you always rinse your hands under clean water to get all the bubbles off. The washing machine does the exact same thing for your clothes. Once the rinsing is done, the clothes are clean, but they are also soaking wet. If you took them out now, they would drip water all over the floor and take a very long time to dry. This is where the final super fast spin cycle comes in. The drum starts to spin around, but this time it goes much, much faster. It spins so fast that it creates a force called centrifugal force. This force pushes the clothes against the sides of the drum and it squeezes all the water out of them. It's the same feeling you get on a fast spinning ride at the amusement park that pushes you against the wall. The water that is squeezed out of the clothes flies through small holes in the inner drum and is collected in the outer tub. Then, just like before, the pump turns on and drains all of this excess water away. The spin cycle is incredibly effective at getting most of the water out. When the machine finally stops spinning and the cycle is over, your clothes are no longer sopping wet. Instead, they are just damp. This makes them ready to be put in a dryer or hung on a line to finish drying, a process that is now much quicker, all thanks to that final speedy spin. So let's think about this. A washing machine is more than just a box that spins. It's a brilliant invention that uses a combination of water, detergent and motion to perform a scientific cleaning process. From the initial tumble in soapy water that loosens and captures dirt, to the rinse cycle that washes away the soap, and finally to the high-speed spin that removes most of the water, every step is perfectly designed. It takes a pile of dirty, smelly laundry and transforms it into a bundle of fresh, clean and pleasant-smelling clothes ready to be worn again. It's a complete cleaning journey that happens with just the press of a button. Before washing machines were common, cleaning clothes was a very difficult and time-consuming job. People had to wash everything by hand, often using a washboard to scrub the dirt out. It would take hours and hours of hard physical work, scrubbing each item individually in a tub of water. They would have to haul heavy buckets of water and wring out the wet, heavy clothes by twisting them with their hands. It was an exhausting task that had to be done regularly. The washing machine completely changed this, turning a full day of hard labour into a simple chore that takes very little effort. The helpfulness of a washing machine goes beyond just saving time and effort. It also helps us stay healthy. Wearing clean clothes is important for good hygiene. Dirty clothes can hold on to germs and bacteria that can make us sick. By regularly and effectively washing our clothes, towels and bedsheets, the washing machine helps to remove these harmful germs, keeping us and our families healthier. It allows us to easily clean our belongings after we've been sick or after playing outside, which is a big deal for preventing the spread of illness. It's a true hero of household hygiene. In conclusion, the washing machine is one of the most useful inventions in our homes. It automates a difficult chore, giving us more time to do other things we enjoy, like playing, learning, or spending time with family. It uses the simple principles of science, agitation, chemical reactions with detergent and centrifugal force to work its cleaning wonders. So, the next time you put your dirty clothes into the washer, take a moment to appreciate the amazing science that's about to happen. It's not magic, but it certainly feels like it. Consider that.